Good evening everyone or whatever day of time it is. There is a new plugin and it's called Debone AI Chords. It uses generative AI to generate chords. <laughs> And in this video I'm going to check out its capabilities on the example of this beat. You can already see we have one line for the bass line and another track for the chords. I already got some chords. with this part. Okay, I already know about the chord progression that it starts with this chord, which is an A sharp minor 7. So if I put here A sharp and then I say um, what kind of chord progression I want to have. Maybe futuristic, um, utopian, natural, elaborate. I don't know. Maybe that would work. These are just some words that come to my mind when I imagine what kind of texture I want. And now I want to have a lot of chords. The processing is online, by the way. If you turn off your internet connection, then the plugin doesn't work anymore. Okay, now I can play back the chords that I received. That takes too long. I can change the playback settings down here. This might be cool, but we need to look a little bit closer. It's a little bit hard to tell if these chords are good. The problem is, if I take this instance of AI chords and go to the chord track and then put it there in front of the instruments, then it will not use the chords. It will use the MIDI that is already on the track, but not the MIDI that comes out of this plugin, because there is no MIDI coming out of this plugin directly, unfortunately. The only way to get MIDI out of here is to drag and drop the MIDI into the door, which I now did. And now it is here. Okay, nice. Now I have a lane for the bass line as well, but it only gave me one MIDI track. What I can do then is to Change this from include to split and now when I drag the MIDI in it will separate the chords from the bass line. But another problem that we clearly see here is that these chords don't have intelligent inversions yet. So Normally you would do something like this that makes the chords a little bit more similar so that you can always hear them rather well in the mix. And yeah, it's just a little bit more harmonic when you do something like that. Now obviously you could always just drag the MIDI into your DOM and do the inversion stuff there. But the big question is can you do something like that in the plugin as well? And you can. You can always select a note. and move it, transpose it, semitones up or down, or octaves up and down. But 
but I must say I don't really like this workflow because you can't see the chords side by side while doing this. I prefer the workflow to do that in the DOM. So now I will edit the MIDI notes in the piano roll the way I like it most. First of all, you gotta know that the plugin adds some strum to every note and it's always a little bit different, a little bit random, which is kinda cool, but I think they should add a feature to turn that off because it is just a little bit of work that you always have to first highlight everything and also at these endings make sure that it fits. The plugin could just let you turn off strumming so that these kind of things are sped up. Especially because this sound is composed of something like a pad, but also an arpeggiator. For arpeggiators you always need to have the MIDI rather clearly laid out. Unless you want it to be random, like Felix in my Miata Kingdom video, where he used randomly starting notes for a natural arpeggiator. Weil was was sehr archetypisches ist, dass an Stellen von großen Drama so Arpeggiator kommen mit Flöten oder auch Klarinetten. Klassischer Film Magic Shit. Ja, man, Harry Potter und so. Also was schon so ist, ist, dass äh, hier so ein ähm, As Played Mode ist und das macht, dass die in der Reihenfolge Arpeggiaten, die auch in MIDI gespielt wurde. Ein bisschen <lacht> Randomness reingehauen, sodass einfach die Reihenfolge so ein bisschen durcheinander gewürfelt ist. Okay. But yeah, I don't do that. Okay, overall that was a pretty fast way to get to a nice chord progression, even though I had to make all of these inversion thingies myself. I would say that this has future potential for more AI applications, because I would be surprised if an AI couldn't figure out what the best inversions for a certain chord progression are. It always follows certain patterns that you can kinda see with a human eye. And when a human eye can see it, then something that resembles a human brain can also see it, at least to some degree. Now I want to try one thing. I want to highlight all of these notes and import them in here. That is not possible yet. And I also don't see something that says import MIDI or so. Even though that would probably be an even better workflow than having to input a text prompt. As you can see on this example, sad and complex, the text prompts are very versatile because sad is an emotion while complex is more of a technical description of the problem that you wanna solve. So that means that you can use both emotional and technical terminology in the prompt editor to generate a chord progression. But my problem with that is that you are not always capable of even describing what kind of music you wanna make with words. It's not a surprise that you are a musician, because if you were more like a writer, then you would work more with words. But since you are a musician, you try to avoid having to work with words. You would rather tell your story in terms of sound and emotion. So even though this is a very liberal way to generate something with text, just the fact that it needs you to import text is already reason enough for this sometimes not to be very intuitive. Importing chords and then hitting generate to continue the chord progression would make much more sense in my opinion, because then the AI could reference the stuff that you already have in your chord progression to generate new chords. Instead of having you describe what your chord progression is supposed to be like, it would just see the chords that are already there and conclude, you know, if you're starting with a chord progression like that, then it's pretty likely to go on like that. I think that would be much more effective. But yeah, apart from that, I think this plugin is pretty cool. I also like that it's free. I wouldn't necessarily want to spend money on it because it's not that hard to just write your own chord progression. It's just a nice little gimmick that you can use to find maybe slightly different chord progressions. I don't know. Yeah, 